Hello, I hope everyone is doing well. Today I'm going to be painting some Studio Ghibli scenes. This is another sketchbook that I binded myself and I never really worked in. I want to continue my goal of finishing sketchbooks before I start buying more. There's some artists that are so good about that and I don't understand how they do it. I can never finish a sketchbook so I just have a bunch of random sketchbooks with random pages filled and others that are empty. So that's something I need to work on, but anyway. This is the gouache that I'm gonna be using today. It's called Create a Color. I don't really know a lot about gouache at this stage, so I don't know if this is a good or bad set. I'm still a beginner with the medium. It's actually taken me a lot of practice to get to the stage that I'm at right now. So what I've been doing is just starting off with a really light wash, almost like how I would work with watercolor and then building up to something more opaque. I don't know if this is the right technique or not, but it's just what I've been doing. I also have a few colors of liquid gouache that I've been using, but I've mostly just been using white because I don't like the other white that's in the like other set, so. I'm going to be working from an image from The Wind Rises and Spirited Way. I actually have not seen The Wind Rises, I just really liked the image of the flowers and wanted to paint it. I have seen Spirited Away and it is one of my favorite Studio Ghibli films, but I have yet to see a Studio Ghibli film that I dislike, so. I find with like dry gouache, it's harder to get more opaque than with the liquid gouache. Sometimes it's just so difficult to like even blend a color with another color because now everything's dry, so. I feel like though I've come a long way, so I'm proud of my progress. I've seen so many people do videos where they paint Studio Ghibli scenes and I've always wanted to try it. The artists that work on these films are incredibly talented and I feel like I actually learned so much just from copying the images. Their color choices are amazing and they really know how to construct a composition. Another reason I wanted to do this is because recently I watched Kiki's Delivery Service and I loved it. Like I, I'm living for it. I thought it was so well done and just like a really nice coming of age film. I also just last night actually watched Castles in the Sky and I just thought it was such a cute movie and I love the dynamic between the two main characters. I think though my favorite will always be Spirited Away just because it's so nostalgic for me. And it's weird because I actually don't remember this scene that I'm painting from the movie. Like I don't remember it in the movie, so I might rewatch it to see if I can see it. But yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't remember it, but that's what everyone's been saying that this still is from Spirit Away, so another reason why I just really like Studio Ghibli movies is because I feel like they're so unpredictable. I can never guess how the movie is going to end. Like ever. I feel like sometimes when the movie's starting, it starts in a totally different place from where it ends, and I just love that. Like, I really appreciate that as a viewer, just not knowing where the story's gonna go. And sometimes it goes in such unexpected places, and uh, yeah, I just, I love that. I love when a story is just not predictable and formulaic. It's been actually snowing so much here. Um, it snowed on Christmas Eve, which was nice, you know, very festive. It's just been so cold and I feel like all I want to do is drink tea and be inside, which, you know, that's pretty much all I do anyway, so we're living our best life here. I was struggling a lot with painting the water. I just don't paint water a lot, so it was just new to me and I just wasn't sure what I was doing. So that's why there's just me painting over and over the water again and again. I think though it actually ended up looking pretty good, so I like the way that it looks. So since I like don't really know much about gouache, I've just been using what I already have just to see if it was something I want to pursue further. 
someone actually gave me this set a long time ago but i think i might buy myself a new set in the new year i've also seen that gouache set on tiktok that everyone's been going crazy about and part of me wants to buy that but i think i'm just gonna do a little bit more research and see what i want if you guys have any recommendations on gouache sets i will definitely check them out um also i know that i'm not supposed to be mixing the colors with my brush but i'm just lazy so while i was painting these two paintings i kind of just let my imagination take over and i started to think about what type of person would live on this island and what their day to day would look like i know the logistics of the island doesn't work and i know that it doesn't matter because it's just for aesthetic purposes but i couldn't stop thinking about how this just does not work there's no garden or anything to grow any food I also feel like if there was ever a really bad storm one day, one wave could literally just wipe out that whole island. Also, just as a side note, if you guys have any recommendations for Studio Ghibli films that I should check out, or just which ones are your favorites, let me know in the comments and I will definitely watch them. And if anyone has seen The Wind Rises, let me know what you thought of it and if I should watch it. I got really into painting the clouds and I love the way that they turned out. I like all of the soft pastel colors in there and like the orange and purple hues. I think it's just so pretty. So I was actually more excited about this painting than the last one, but I feel like this painting didn't end up looking as good as the last one. One of the reasons I actually like this medium is because you can keep building on top of it and keep layering colors. But the thing that I really don't like about it is that it dries so fast and sometimes it's just so difficult to mix a color or just get a color down before it dries. I was also struggling a bit to paint the sunflowers because my yellow was not opaque enough and when I tried to put more paint it still wasn't coming out thick enough. I ended up just using the tubed gouache that I showed earlier and that seemed to work. When I started this painting, I started to think about how maybe the last painting could connect with the one that I'm making now. And so I started like pretending that the person had some sunflowers growing behind their house somewhere. Um, and I kind of liked that idea because it made the paintings, at least for me, feel like a diptych and like they complemented each other. When I paint, I usually work wet into wet and I find that this is the easiest way for me to blend, but I wanna get used to working like this way as well, where it's like dry on dry. And I just wanna, you know, be able to develop my skills more and use that technique whenever I need it. Overall, I actually really enjoyed the process of doing this, and I think I'm going to do more of these studies in the future. I learned a lot about gouache, and it was just really good practice for me. I never really paint landscapes, and I feel like it's something I need more practice with. I always felt like landscape paintings were really boring in comparison to painting a portrait, but I feel like through doing these paintings, I definitely have more appreciation for landscapes, and I'm going to try to do more in the future. I feel like one of the reasons I wanted to paint these scenes is because they're so summery. I already miss summer and it's so far away from being even remotely warm in Toronto, which is sad. I just miss walking outside without having to bundle up. Everything is still closed and we're in lockdown here. As far as I know, we'll be in lockdown for most of January. I feel like I've been in good spirits though. I've pretty much just been baking, painting, and learning more about editing, which has felt really fulfilling to me. 
I hope that wherever you guys are watching this from, that you're doing well and taking care of yourself. I don't know if I've said this before in like a previous video or something, but I think that through all of this, it's just been so nice having painting. I know that not everyone has hobbies, or some people didn't even really start thinking about hobbies before all of this happened, and I just feel really grateful to have painting. Painting has always been incredibly meditative for me and just a way for me to escape everything. I feel like so many people have had to go and find how they want to spend their time when I already knew how I was going to be spending my time. And yeah, I just, I don't know, feel really happy and grateful that I can paint and that I enjoy doing it. But also, if you ever want to learn painting, I feel like it's never too late to start. No matter how old you are or what skill level, if you're just a complete beginner, I think it's, you know, it's never too late, in my opinion. Alright, that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys like this video, then give a like. If you want to subscribe, then subscribe. And I will see you guys next week for I don't know what yet, but I will see you guys next week. Bye!